away and uh good day <laughs> welcome to um season six of uh walking the route main spec art barn uh we're currently here at Schaffenberg. this is episode one and um we're gonna start going he says uh first off we're gonna shoot off down this end this is uh on the um PlayStation 2? No, it's not. It's on the PlayStation 4. It's Train Sim World 2, sorry. Train Sim World... Yeah, Train Sim World 2. Uh, and this is... Uh, main Spec Up Barn. Um, I should have all the freight on here. I've got all the DLC at the moment. The only one we're waiting for is the Rhine Road Austin route. And the... Um, Great Western Express, as well as um, I can't think what the other one is. I believe we're looking out for a broken fence, which I think would be down here somewhere. Now these are the um, where they keep the units overnight. There should be a broken fence around there somewhere. Oh no, we're a bit further on down. So we're going to make our way down there. So this video should be roughly about just under an hour long, if you can stand that long. No, it'd be about between 40 and, f 40 and an hour, 40 minutes and an hour. So I hope also to get down to a Schaffenberg port as well, um, but we're not entirely sure because I might not ha be able to walk through the tunnels so if I can't walk through the tunnels then I'll have to do this at a separate time is that one there no it's not that one it'd be one of these high thingy fences plus this also you know you get to see a little bit more of the route that you wouldn't because you only stop at a Schaffenberg you don't go any further Definitely is a fence down here that needs. I think it's near the point work that needs uh, that needs uh, repairing. These are pretty hard to spot, so I have I do have a guide that helps me. So walk with me. Might even be over this side. Yes, I'm looking at. A f right, let's have a quick look. See where I am. Um, where I'm supposed to be, it should just be about here. So it's just up that. It's up that way. It's just before that signal there. Okay, so it's past the past the point work. It's that, and it's that signal up there. So yes, you get to see a lot, a little bit more of the map that's been modelled. I mean, the main special barn is a very good route, and this is the, this is like I said, it's on Train Sim World Two, and it is part of the preserved collection. So it's here somewhere. There's a hole in the fence apparently. Right there. No, that's a tree. Don't 
it's just it's just before that signal so it's round here nothing there look am I reading this right According to what I'm seeing, it's literally it's no, it's not that one. It's that signal there. So it's got to be behind here. It's a tree. Okay, so it's not a signal, it's a tree. Okay, so the trees are going to be hard to spot. Right, so I've just moved on a couple of couple of hundred meters. Um, we do have a BR143 or 155. I don't know what they are in the yard. On probably loaded car transports. But this is the second one. We have a area around here which I think if we go through here nope, where is it because these are very very sneaky where they put these Hazard cone place there. Oh, the R one five five's leaving. Let's have a little look. One four three. So that's a hazard cone collected. on some of the uh, um, on some of the um, with some of the uh, what do they call it the um, the freight wagons the sounds wrong on it it just doesn't transmit the sounds properly Right, anyway, so we're off to the main platform now. So I'll wait till we get up around here. We'll go through the cat stabling sidings here. So we're heading back to the station. Like this, a little bit of track left. You can't run on it. And they've taken the cables out of it as well. So that's cool. Bit disused, disused track. Right, so we're going to cross over in it as well. Let's make sure nothing's up on a second. Okay, so we're going to cross over over here. We need to get up here.
There we go. Look. Another hazard cone next. We have to pop over here. Got. You have to go to the space here and get up. We'll pop in over here. Something around here is a broken fence. There we go. That's no, not. There you go. So you can't really see it that well. So 30 of those, that'll be good. Because I don't want to get mullered. Oh, so let's go up here. We'll go under, this, under the bridge. Right. So what else are we looking for? We are looking for a station route map. Be in the booking hall here, which I've not really been into. There we go. So we're at Schaffenberg, and we need to go to Schaffenberg down there as well. But I'm not sure if we can get down there. Uh, by the looks of it, there's another. Won't let you out here, will it? No. So you've got to make sure. There you go. Have a quick squeeze around here to see if there is anything that needs to be done. Oh yeah, there's a couple more by the looks of it. There's one there, look. I think there'll be one more down here, I think. And there's the other one. And that's it. Right, so we're going to go back onto the other platform for the simple reason that we need to go down to the um, the docks. Now, with um, Train Sim World Two, you you can't walk through the um, you can't walk through the uh, through the tunnels. Yellow and green. I might just be able to oh, show you around on the other side, really. So we're off to the docks. Mental note to self, if we can't get to the docks, then I will have to do it a different way, which I will explain on the route. It's the old big yard up there. I mean, I've, I've, I've had a few people ask me over the last couple of months when they've been watching the videos, what's the point of doing um, walking the route? The point being is that 
you're usually running past it about 80 90 miles an hour each thing and it's nice just take a more sedate pace and a nice overall look at the route i mean it's one of the it's, it's a thing that you pay a lot of money for and you spend 95 percent of the time on when you're on the route whizzing up and down past things and you don't get to see what they've done you know even the little sometimes there's like little easter eggs and that i know they hide donkeys around you know the route somewhere some in plain sight and some not in plain sight so last time i attempted this i actually fell through the map and now that on train to world 2 that they decided not to allow you to walk through tunnels well this was on uh, as what we rightly thought this was just on london underground but if I remember rightly, I think it's on all the tunnels. So we'll soon find out. And I, I can walk in the, in the forefoot here because nothing will be down. So wish me luck. Oh, well, so. It looks like we're off down to the docks then. This video could be a little bit more than an hour because we're going to get off to down to the docks anyway. So, so we need to get to a Schaffenberg Hostel, which I think is the first station. I mean, this is probably one of the best bits of the route, which is the actual. The Schaffenberg Yard and this area here. Okay, I'll go up there. Oh, can't even do that. Aha! There you go, that's how you do it. I think this is a Schaffenberg Hoshal. Doesn't say. See, so we've got a hazard cone. What else have we got? We have a broken fence over to the right there. These passengers will be waiting a long time. There you go. One of them. I don't know why they all stop there like that. Um, and I th think. Nope, we've got another broken fence. Uh, so is this... There you go, look. You've got a broken fence there as well. I think that's it for a Schaffenberg Hoshen. Hoshen. I do apologise for the uh, pronunciation or lack of because my German is non-existent. Next stop would be a Schaffenberg Sud. So let's get on. So of course now that the Rivet Games has produced the BR DVBR two hundred four, um, you'll be able to drive down here, um, which is okay. But it's a shame that there's no DMU that's down here. 
But the only problem is, though, there's no after, after the Sch Sch Schaffenberg Sud, there's no other station. It delves off to the, the station, I think, goes off to the left. So, what we're going to do, we're going to make it down to the docks after I've done the stations. Now, around here, there's a fence that needs what you call it in but we definitely need more German diesel locos broken fence look so if you didn't look at the guides you wouldn't know that there's a damaged fence there I don't think there's anything around here no and how far out of the way is that so you're not going to see red tape are you going to see that from the passing train probably not I think this would be on the station itself, actually. So, yeah. Oh, how do I get out of this now? There you go. Okay. Wow. It's actually got a walk up, like, platform sort of thing. I don't think there is. I'll double check, see what we've got. These people will be waiting a long time because there's currently no trains that run down here. I don't think we've got any. Um... No. Hold on, where's that bit of line go to? Goes off just up to there. Right, so there's nothing there. Okay. So we need to squander on back to the station. Yes, I'm not in high heels. And there should be... Oh, one of them there. I'm just thinking there should be a station... You mean tell me they've not got one? Really? No. they got to. It's got to be in here. There we go, look. Ta-da! So um, there's that one as well. Um, so this is going to be this episode is going to take us from a, down to a Schaffenberg docks. So we're just leaving a, a Schaffenberg should. We're heading down to the docks. Obviously in real life you'll be seeing uh, DMU type trains down here. Um, oh hello. Well, 
Oh, I've got to go back. Because apparently, I'm not quite sure where it is. So it'll be in there, look. See, that's how easy it is to miss. And I think there's a broken fence somewhere. <laughs> could, there, could there have been something there? God, that would have been a bugger if I'd been able to get down here and not get back out. No, that's the fence that's just come through. Broken fence there, look. You see how easy it is to miss them. And no, it's a railway sleeper. So what else are we looking for? Oh crikey. Really? Wow. I've got to literally go where am I? We're here. I've got to go roughly about here. I think. Somewhere up near there. Okay. It's a shame there's no waypoint system. Right, so let's get on our way then. And that is for a log. So what I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm editing some of this stuff together, um, so I'm stopping and pausing, because I've only got, in, well, on the PlayStation, I've only got 59 minutes and 59 seconds that I can record for. So what I'm doing is, you'll see the little clock in the bottom right hand corner every now and then, it will change, it will jump forward sort of thing. Um, that has to be done basically because I'm ed I'm stopping, and then certain bits will be I'm saving bits, other bits that I'm not saving. It's just how how I can do it. So I will be referring to the map as well, quite often. And I'm nowhere near it. I've just. I'm there, I need to get down get down to about here, I think it is. It's roughly rough roughly there. So when I'm, I'm I've got a fair bit to go. So at least on the second set of signals on the second set of signals then I can look at I can't really quite see on the diagram but it will be about there roughly. So let's go. So the process, what I do is I use, um, with um, most of the other um, Walk of the Route videos, I literally set myself up like to go from station to station sort of thing. We'll do two stations if it's okay to walk, you know, within about, a fit, within anything, within about 40 to 60 minute, or just under 50 minutes. Just under 59 minutes sort of um, uh, distance. But with this, I'm actually having to get to my point and then save the, vid the video and then start the video again. So I give myself literally like an hour. So this might well be longer than an hour. If it is, then I have to edit it on the PC. Excuse me, and not edit it on Share Factory. Right. So, I think it will be in this area here between these two signals on the right hand side where I've got to look.
Right. So you see that gap in the fence? That's obviously something's going on over there. So we pop over here and we go la di da. We actually said la di da. Strangely enough. So it's down near some water, so it'll be over a big pond somewhere. So could we? Can we go through here? Look. Oh, really? How would you know this? And there's a water, there's a pond. Look. So somewhere around here. Would you, if you know if no, it's there. Look. I was just pointing to it. I was just pointing to it with my fingers. It's that thing there. Without actually walking around the here, how would you know or where would you know this that this is? Without looking to the guide. Look at that. And how far can we come off this now? How far away it's Oh don't do that. How far away are we from the railway? Look how far we are. That, you wouldn't even think to see that, would you? You know? So, um, yeah. <laughs> right. So you've got to follow the path back. Very crafty. Very crafty. I like that. So they, they you know, you've got that little extra bit farther to work for them. And thanks to all the people that do create the guides, because it is it's a godsend. Look how far you're off. Right, off we go then. So I'm going to get to a Schaffenberg port, and then basically I will end the episode. So the next episode will be wandering around a Schaffenberg port. I mean, this is what the main specet barn. This is what that's not one. No. This is only the sixth route that I've done. So the next route that I will do after this is the blah, 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 which one is it? It will be the Schnell uh Aachen or Köln to Aachen route because I'm trying to do the the new routes as, and then one. So, a new uh, the Train Sim World Two route will be after the Train Sim World One route, main special burn, and then basically what I've done. So it'll be TS One, well, TSW One route, TSW Two route, then whatever the next TSW One route would be. So this is about I think it's about a two or three mile jaunt down to the docks. So how far are we away? So we've got a split point coming up. This is where I think more of the passenger services go off and then they go off around here as well. Or well, I'm not sure that could be another industry. I'm not 100% sure. Right, so we're not far off around there. But I will end this episode when we get to the... Uh, I think we'll do it when we get to this shed at um, Schaffenberg Port. Obviously, if you have um, um, Train Sim World 2 and you obviously have Main Spec Up Barn, 
as a preserved collection on Trinity Mall 2, then you will be able to create your own scenarios to go down here. I.e., you could probably use the EWS 66 or the 08 Shunter from the Tees Valley route if you've got that. Um, I've not actually done that actually, so I might even just do a little. Yeah, I might run the 08 down here. Something different. You could run the 20 down here. So the other bit of track, I don't know how far we. No, I won't do that. Because I don't know how far we can get down to do the track, to be honest. It still has its flaws in, look. Where the draw distance for the road only goes so far. That is a big problem with this route. It's a lovely route, but pff, yeah, it's a big problem. So I think we get to go across a bridge as well, and it goes across a river. And that you, got, I, I managed to get a nice couple of shots, like sun, low sunset shots. I mean, look, if you can see it through here. Um, there you go. Can you see the van with the cone on its top? Sorry, I just sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> There's a van there with the old traffic cone on it. I mean, that sort of stuff. That's quite funny, you know. So at some point I've got to do all the collections again for, for the Great Western Main Line, for Rapid Transit, um, what else have I done? West Somerset, which is what's the next one to be released? Well you probably wouldn't see this. By the time you've by the time you this is released back at some time some point in December, I think it is, most of the preserved collection will be released. I'm recording this on the eve of the release date of the Isle of Wight. For information, I'm recording it on the 14th of October, 2020. So this is a bridge. I'm going to do something rather stupid. Ah! Oh, I was hoping, because I know you can... Oh, I can't walk down that way. I know you can do it in Grand Theft Auto. You can actually walk up the bridge. The bridge is like this. Which is quite cool. You can actually drive a car off and over them. got to do that sometime I have to do walking the route Grand Theft Auto I have to not online but yeah I just have to do that that's the other thing as well is that what I like is that someone's actually done the you remember you, 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 you hopefully you've seen the um, the diesel locos from uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto well, someone's actually done one of the, the actual livery of the diesel loco in Grand Theft Auto livery that uh, from for Trains in World Two. Awesome. Something I might look at doing um, when the livery creator finally gets its update, whenever that will be. Uh, again, at this point, up to the point date of recording, which I said was the fourteenth. Go to check the fourteenth, the fourteenth of October. The livery creator had not received its update. So this area, this is the other area that goes off down to, I don't know whether it's industries or whatever. I wouldn't be surprised if it's industries. Um, I I personally don't think there is anything else down here until we get to a Schaffenberg port. Yeah, it's in the port area itself, so... <laughs> Oh, there's lots. There's the rail yard, everything. Oh, my. The container yard, there's loads. Construction yard, and then you go to Hosback, wherever that is. That's got to be on the... Hosback is on the... Um... 
We've got scrap yard as well, rail yard, scrap yard, locomotive depot. Apparently that there's a fifth of the collectibles jammed into the docks area. So there's nothing here, but how far can I walk down here? Actually, I probably don't want to go too far because it'll probably turn around and say uh, end of session. I wouldn't be too surprised if it's any time soon, but yeah, what I will do. I just want to save it there just in case. See how far we can get down. Can we go the whole way? No. Surely not. No, there we go. So that's as far as you can go. It's a bit of a shame, but oh well. <laughs> well, you know, this is this wouldn't be walking the route if I didn't walk it, would it? I know I didn't do the other one, but... It's not long to get down to the port anyway, so when we get down to that port area, I'll save it and that'll be episode one. That's a sleeper. Just wondering... So where does this go then? Oh, is this... Ooh. Where is this? Get out. Really? Can I go through the door? Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting you to be able to go in here. Of course you can't jump, so you can't get through here. Oh wow. What's that say on there? <laughs> Excellent. Oh wow. That is so cool. It says help me. <laughs> that is excellent. See, these are the little Easter eggs that they put in. And you never know what you're going to find. I wonder if anyone hel else has found that. Wow. Sorry, I just took pictures with the phone. They're going in the Discord server. Oh, wow. I just... How far are we away from the railway? Look. How far can we go? Little pond? Do we get our feet wet? Splish, splish, splash. So we follow this path. Where does it take us? Back to the train tracks, which we can't go. So we got to go around it. We got to go around back. Yeah, you see, it won't let us walk that way. So we got to go back. Can't, don't think we can get out that way. Can we get out there? No. So there's certain limits it will take you. <laughs> that was pretty awesome, actually. Oh, there's a fence here somewhere. Let me out! Ooh. Follow the path. Go back on the path. If you follow the path, it will lead you to right. <laughs> Right, okay. So I've got a little bit further. So this video, I think, will be in about three parts. The actual, this first episode. It's three or four parts, I think it is. So that will all have to be edited together. I mean, I've got till December. But obviously, I want to sort of try and clear this. So the next episode two will be literally the um, 
um, the docks. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna shove an 08 down here. I think it is. the animals and everything. Look how far you are away from the railway. Now until the BR204 is released, which in theory it shouldn't be too long at the time of recording this, then you, this track will not be used. Automatic HT. Be nice to take the ice train down here. <laughs> I know it's a bit silly, isn't it? I think we're approaching the docks now, actually. Yep, there's the docks. I've not actually walked down here before. So, yeah, this is the first time that I've walked down here. So we're at the docks and there's a the little turntable. All that works as well. The turntable works. You drop your shunter, park it overnight, dump down in the in the little engine area. So yes, um Okay, so we found we found the trees. We found the first lot of the trees. Okay, so if I start the stream, I'm going to end the stream here. So, and then basically when I start again, um, on the next episode, I'm actually going to save it. No, I'm not, no, I'm not. Right. So I'm going to start the stream. It was the episode two will be here and then we'll literally do a full tour of the docks area, all this lot around here. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, I don't think there's anything up there. But we can have a we'll have a look. That will be episode two. Episode three, basically, will be from a Schaffenberg. From a Schaffenberg, literally, up to the first station, which I think is Horsch. No, that's that's that, that's Laufauk, isn't it? Horsch is here. What's that one? That's Horsch. I think Horash. Hosback, Hosback, sorry, Hosback. So we go from from a Schaffenberg, which you'll see where Schaffenberg is, up to there. That'll be the third episode. So yeah. That's cool. Right, okay then. Right. Well thank you all very much for watching. I will um catch you in the next episode but if you've enjoyed this episode then and looking forward to season two three four five and whatever no episode two three four and five plus possibly more um then uh subscribe to the channel 
Uh, don't forget to um, uh, uh, press the bell icon if you subscribe. Like the pay, like the video as well, and um, yeah, you'll you know by pressing the bell, you will be notified of my um, when I go live, when I upload another video, or just uh, when I make a community post. So yes, thank you all very much, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you and goodbye.